One of the options for a spatial join is how. Previously, we used how equals enter. This means match up power plants with states, and if one of the power plants doesn't find a matching state, if it's in the middle of the ocean or for some reason in another country, just get rid of it. Just drop it. If we run this code, we get 7,410 results. The other alternative, when you use how, is called left. There's also right, but we're not going to talk about that. With a left join, when you're joining two data sets, you still keep the rows from the left-hand side, even if it isn't a match. So power plants is on the left here. If a power plant isn't inside of a state, we're still going to keep it. We're not going to get rid of it. It's fine. So when we run that, we end up with 7,610 power plants, fully 200 more power plants than the other join. So even if a power plant isn't in a state, we still keep it. But what does that really mean? Let's take a look at our data. I'm going to save it as the variable joined. So every single row is a different power plant. And when it finds a matching state, it adds the name and it adds the population. So I've cheated. I know a little bit about this data set. If we look at a few specific rows, we can see an example of something that didn't find a state. So right here, row number 544, or row index 544, if we want to be specific, Winnetka. It's a natural gas plant, but it didn't find a state to be a member of. So instead of having an index right, a name, and a population, it gives us nan, nan, nan. If we did an inner join, though, this one up here, Winnetka would have been one of those 200 disappearing power plants. So we wouldn't have known that it exists. So the question is, do you care about places that don't fit into your spatial join? In this case, it's actually kind of important because if we look up the Winnetka plant, it's actually in Chicago, in the state of Illinois, in the US. Winnetka just happens to be on the shoreline, though, and it misses being in the state by just a few meters. This point is just the tiniest bit outside of the boundary of the state. We'll talk about how to deal with those situations specifically and automatically in the future. But in this case, we can probably just set the missing ones automatically, or sorry, we can probably just set the missing ones manually. There are 200, but it could be better. There are 200, but it could be worse. So while we're talking about inner joins versus left joins, Let's revisit what we did in a previous video where two different spatial joins had the same results. So we did the spatial join of joining plants to states, and then we also did joining states to plants. And I'll just have us look at this so we can remember what they each did. Oh, once again, operation should be contains. So when I run this, the only difference between these two is whether each row has the geometry of a power plant or the geometry of a state. If you put power plants first, that means that every single row has the geometry of the power plant. It has a little dot. If you put the states first, though, it, each one of the geometries is the shape of the state. So you have repeating states, repeating states, while well, this one is non-repeating power plants. So let's adjust these a little bit and watch whether they still give the same results or not.
In terms of data, if we ignore geometry for these, these are the same. Megawatts, plant, source, index rate, name. Index rate actually ends up being different because they have different rates. But the data columns are going to be the same. Name and population here matches name and population here. Megawatts, plant, and source here. Megawatts, plant, and source here. If we want to double check, we can look at their shape. So each one of these is just a power plant that is attached to a state. Every power plant in a state, every power plant in a state. So let's change it from inner to left and see what happens. So we already talked about this first one here, where if we join power plants to states with a left join, we're going to keep all of those power plants that don't have a state. So uh, we won't go through it. We just did it with Winnetka. So what happens is, if a power plant doesn't have a state, it's still going to keep that power plant. It will just say, hey, there is no state associated with this. But what happens if we do it here? Oh, not dot shape. OK, so if we look at the same ones that we did before, we don't see Winnetka here. Let's try to track down the Winnetka plant. So join.plant, Winnetka. Where are you, Winnetka? You're not in the data set anymore. So when you did this left join, these end up being different. This right here says, give me every single plant attached to a state. This is saying the same thing. Give me plants attached to states. But this one says, we're joining on the left. So if there are any plants that do not have states, we want to keep them. We want to keep Winnetka. We want to say, I know you didn't find a state, but we're going to keep you anyway. This one down here says, if states is first, we're going through each state finding all of the power plants inside. With a left join, we're saying, if our state can't find a power plant in it, we can still keep that state. But if a plant doesn't have a state, it doesn't care. It leaves it behind. So the idea behind a left join is, if there were any states that didn't have power plants, they're fine. But Winnetka, because it doesn't match with the state, gets thrown away. That's left joins versus inner joins. And while inner joins are the same, no matter which one comes first in S join, see how these ended up being the same? Because they have to mesh together completely. Every plant has to match up with a state. Every state has to match up with a plant. Doesn't matter the order that you put them in. The only difference is the geometry. But when you do a left join, it becomes important about the order. These two become different. Do we want to keep plants that don't have states, or do we want to keep states that don't have plants? The big question, the big difference between inner and left joins is, if there are rows that can't find a partner, are we OK getting rid of them? In our case, it was important that we kept them. It was important that we did this left join down here because otherwise we wouldn't have been able to explore Winnetka. We would have lost those 200 power plants that are supposedly not in a state and you know something terrible would have happened. Our analysis would have been off. But because we kept them, we were able to look at them specifically and see an improvement we could make on our analysis workflow. So spatial joins can definitely be confusing. 
as they have a lot of moving pieces. In the end though, depending upon what you're looking for, there are probably four or five different ways to get your answer, reordering these left joins, right joins, doing different kinds of value counts or fill in A's later on. So what we're gonna do later on is just go through a few different workflows where you're using spatial joins in a certain way to come to your answer. And honestly, with just more practice, you're gonna get a lot more comfortable.